Hello everyone! So I seem to be developing a bit of a rainbow obsession lately and when I remembered that I had a pad of brightly coloured paper I decided to shred it up ready for a fun sensory activity. You could use any paper for this activity though. If you're like us and you get a newspaper delivered to your door this would be a great fun thing to shred up and actually you could do it with your child. They're really easy to rip. My shredder actually cuts up the paper into these tiny little strands but if you have one of those shredders that cuts into long strips then that's absolutely fine too and in fact I think that would be even better for cleaning up at the end <laughs> and of course you can even buy it in the shops particularly at this time of year just after Easter there tends to be a lot around in pound shops and things like that so you can pick it up really cheaply we happen to have friends coming over on this day which meant double the fun I just set out the paper in a tough spot tray but if you don't have one of those you can set it out up in any old tray or a bowl and then I set out some cups and some spoons and some different tools as well and let them get stuck in. Watch this, Lady. <gasps> oh, I knew you'd get stuck straight in. <laughs> oh, purple, that's right. Red. It was really interesting to watch how the two children played with it differently. They spent over an hour moving the paper from one place to another, using the bowls and cups that I'd set out. Lucas even used the spoons to pick up the paper and did some mixing with it. They loved throwing it around in the air, kicking it around on the floor and generally making a right old mess. Cook. Yeah. Good, <laughs> That's brilliant. You do it. <laughs> the smaller tools that I'd set out weren't very good at picking up the paper and actually were quite tricky for them to use, but I think they'd be really good for older children. Oh, yeah, it is. Typically for Alex, it even ended up in the washing machine, his favourite place ever. And Lucas brought in the shopping trolley to transport it around in. The aftermath was pretty impressive. I think the dog was judging my choice of activity. It would definitely be better to do this one on a hard surface if you have one. I wish I'd thought of that earlier. I hope this video gave you some inspiration. Please let me know if you do it with your little ones at home. And if you think of any other ideas to do with shredded paper, because I now have a ton of it that I can use up. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.